um, like I said just now, we are really, uh, we, we really welcome you all to our school uh, of architecture, yeah, which is uh, you now in the second part of the um, master, uh, sorry, in the architecture program. Okay, right. So, thank you for choosing UM as your um, place for study, right? Okay, so basically our program, eh, especially for, uh, I mean, um, the candidates, which is from other universities, yeah, um, so you really, um, you really, uh, uh, the department really welcome you to the school, and then we would like to introduce you about our uh, school, which is our BSc Architecture, um, first introduced in 1995, yeah, uh, which is that time is under the Faculty of Engineering, yeah, uh, so we call it as a uh, program, uh, architecture program, it's not um, a faculty yet, it's like a, a small, uh, it's not a department yet even, yeah, so um, we've been part under engineering uh, faculty in 1995, okay, right, so um, um, uh, I introduce me, uh, myself here, yeah? uh, I'm Dr. Narfida, um, I joined this uh, department since 1995, which is in 1995, I got scholarship from UM to further studies of uh, uh, for masters and then um, after one year I completed my masters in uh, research yeah? this is my master of research and then I came back in uh, 1996 to join um, the architecture program in UM okay right and then um, um, bachelor of architecture uh, first intake um, happened in 1990 uh, uh, sorry um, that one is graduated and eh? the intake is 25. Yeah? Okay. Master of Architecture been introduced in 2015. Yeah. And then uh, our school being accredited um, by RIBA in 2005. Right. Okay. In um, 1995, we also been uh, accredited uh, for BSc program um, uh, in 1998. Yeah? Okay. What is um, just right after the first batch completed? Right. Okay. So, like I mentioned to you last time, we park only in a small, um, a small area in the engineering faculty, uh, and then after that, we build um, uh, given uh, the uh, to, um, one of the um, uh, additional additional block eh, in uh, in uh, engineering faculty, which is the old block we call that. Still, uh, we can have uh, a few place there. Uh, which is we locate that, um, uh, that one exhibition hall and then um, at the postgraduates um, up to place on the top uh, level of uh, one wing of the uh, engineering uh, faculty at the block Uko, we call it. Okay, and then um, 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 okay, this building that you can see in the slide is the uh, current faculty alumina. Uh, the current faculty alumina. Um, being occupied in, in uh, 2010, in, uh, 2010, right? Okay, so now when, um, okay, you're going to use one of the studio in this uh, building, yeah? Right. Okay. So, okay. Right. Um, at the end, uh, after the last slide uh, completed, Hamza, can you remind me to take the attendance? Yeah? Because, uh, yes, okay, sure. Uh, I mean, I take the attendance for the full, uh, full candidates. Yeah? Okay. Architecture lecturers. Okay, architecture lecturers. Okay. Um, we have a head uh, of department. Uh, the current head of department is architect Dr. Halina Hashim. Right, and then now uh, I'm the coordinator of MR, uh, I'm Dr. Rafida, the GAFA. Then we have a, a professor, which is Dr. Yahya Ahmad. And then we have um, uh, experts from industry, yeah? experts from industry, which is uh, Akhtar Sali Adrin Sarkom. Um, he's one of the associate professor industry. Yeah, we have um, uh, Mr. Hiroyuki Subay, associate professor industry. 
uh, Associate Professor Industry uh, um, again, which is Architect Zuraina Laili Awaludin, right? Okay. All right. So we're going to receive uh, another um, Associate Professor Industry uh, um, next month. Okay. All right. And then we have Associate Professor, which is uh, from the uh, full time lecturer, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Nazli Cik Day, yeah, and then we have uh, Associate Professor Dr. Naziati Muhammad Yaakob, and then we have Associate Professor Dr. Haji Hussein. Then we also have Dr. Masura Adam, this is um, most of us here is uh, senior lecturer, okay, we have architect uh, Dr. Muhammad Firdaw, um, he just joined in. Okay, come on. Nancy, okay. all right. Um, okay, architect Dr. Muhammad Pidaf just joined us about uh, last three months. Yeah? He's from uh, JKR. Okay, then we have Dr. Asro Majudin, which is now the Deputy Dean of Research and Development. All right, and then we have Dr. Hazrina Haja. Um, okay. She came from the UTM last time, she uh, the star, uh, sorry, the lecturer in uh, UTM, and then um. He um to join us, yeah. Right. She uh, about three years ago. Eh? Right, that, and then we have Dr. Muhammad Azam, and then we have um uh, architect Aniza, we have Miss Etty, which is very active in the uh, workshop, which is now the workshop is um happening eh? um virtually in uh virtually organized by uh UPM, yeah, UPM. Okay, so so I really uh, hope that you can um join it virtually yeah all right and then like kushari kushari here yeah kushari will be our debater yeah we need to support him yeah for this uh zone the zone um workshop in upm yeah all right and then uh, we have um mr asosani Abdurazak, which is a lecturer and then we have um uh dr liana hasnan and dr nur diana okay um just join us last month, yeah. Right. Okay. About core areas of specialization. Okay. Right. So every school or each school need to have their their specialization. Okay. Right. So our school, um, we have a strong, um, I mean, um, strength. The strength is in terms of the heritage and sustainable green architecture. Right. So um, we have, um, I mean, um, sets of um, curriculum, sets of subjects in our curriculum um, that really um, enhance that uh, specialization. Okay? okay, which is on the heritage, we have the measured drawing, and then we have uh, uh, research papers related to heritage, we have the conservation course, yeah? and then we have heritage uh, research papers, yeah? right? And then, um, under the sustainable green architecture, okay. Um, in part one, yeah, in uh, in BSc program, we have uh, environmental physics, architectural lighting, and acoustic courses. And then we have a passive solar design requirement. Um, in um, I mean some of courses in design, which is the design courses, all right. And then we ex exposure to ecotech, integrated design, uh, Revit, okay, even uh, now in um. In our master program, uh, we use uh, Sephora, Sephora, okay. And then exposure to ecotech and integrated design to Revit. Just now, so just now I already mentioned, okay. And then uh, part two, green technology and uh, green building principles integration into design courses, okay. So it means that it's not only the uh, component of design, but we are going to make sure that once you're designing, you consider all the uh, green and sustainable, yeah. Uh, uh, sustainable sometimes not green yeah so you need to consider both yeah means that green and sustainable right okay all right and then uh, supported by all the research um high impact research so uh, as what you already been um, um i mean you know about um, that university malaya is one of the research university okay so um means that our component of our curriculum must have a certain weightage of research in the curriculum. Okay, right. So, um, 
uh, I just would like to highlight that some students say, oh, I don't want to be a researcher. I want to be architect. Yeah, but you need to have a, um, I mean, a strong justification, which is the research component really can help you. Yeah? Really can help you to uh, justify your uh, proposal, any kind of proposal, any kind of justification needed for your um, designs, for your research, yeah? or for your, I mean, um, cost work. So all related to the research, okay? It's, which is not uh, something new, which um, just uh, something that really uh, need to be strengthened yeah? in your, um, in your, uh, for two, um, um, normal uh, routine in. Uh, doing architecture courses, yeah? uh, architecture course in UM, right? Okay, distinctive approaches to teaching and learning. Okay, right. Um, to be one of the good or, or one of the best school of architecture, uh, um, we need to um, have another strength in terms of uh, the collaboration. Yeah, uh, with collaboration, especially international. Yeah right and then we need to have the cross-cultural uh, learning and then we need to um, link um, our school with the industries yeah so um, this three components is very important yeah okay uh, the international collaboration um we normally have uh, through the uh, inbound and outbound program which is supported by our universities okay um some of the uh, universities that have mou with uh, um yeah, normally we're going to um, propose uh, activities yeah? and then um, maybe the uh, university, uh, the universities, uh, 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 sorry, the universities from uh, overseas will come to our universities and uh, have a, uh, I mean, a formal program. So we call it as an inbound. Okay, so if we go to other universities and then have a, a certain activities and program, we call it outbound, yeah, outbound program. Okay. And then the exchange uh, program, uh, the exchange student program also, um, also um, been practiced, yeah, also been practiced by our school, yeah? like last, um, last time, sorry, last year, even during the um, MCO, uh, um, a few of our students doing the exchange program in um, Turkey, yeah, All right, and then uh, like um, Afa, she did in Turkey also, and before that uh, she uh, did the photo. Uh, um, she got the PEM um, scholarship for research. Yeah? So, so that kind of uh, that kind of international uh, programs that we um, we practice in our school. Okay, All right. In the international school workshop um, like um, ACAU, yeah. But last two years we cannot um, join that. Uh, even um, um, the programs been postponed due to the COVID um, uh, pandemic. Yeah? Okay. All right. Cross cultural learning. Yeah. Uh, multi ethnic composition of student and staff. Right. So any activities related to it. Yeah. Uh, we really um, really um, emphasize and really um, think it's very important to make sure that uh, our school is not only um be in a small a uh, scope of um um about to a scope of uh network but we we uh, really want to expose our uh, uh student yeah, and uh, staff um in a global right okay um and uh, we really uh, welcome the international students and even international students really are uh, really excited to come here uh we um for bsc so this year we interview quite numbers of international students yeah? after we even after we uh, already filtered we interviewed about about 20 uh, international students yeah? okay all right and then uh linkage with the profession industry yeah um okay um is very very um very lucky yeah uh because our location which is a uh, really central um uh, centralized in kl yeah and then uh, uh even with our name of um the industries really um like to contribute like to involve with our uh, academic um program yeah? so
So um, um, let's say we once we have the um, apa tu, um, the final presentation, the interim uh, interim uh, apa tu, uh, assessment, yeah. So um, we, we the uh, the experts from industry really like to come and join us, yeah, and then contribute their ideas, their um, their concern to our school, yeah. Right. So um, we uh, think that one is uh, one of our um, of a big strength eh, of our school, right? Okay, all right. Employability skills of our UG and uh, PG students. Okay, right. Part one, um, like what actually been expected by Lembaga, yeah, we produce the architectural graduates who are equipped with technical competency to give support to architectural professionals in the project industry. Yeah, all right, and then um, um. Okay, um, since our graduate in 1998, yeah, right. And then part two, uh, we produce the graduate architects who are equipped with knowledge and skills that allow them to participate successfully as professionals in the building industry, yeah. And then, um, this is which is uh, last time, um, before we have the master architecture program, yeah, we um, actually offer bachelor architecture. Yeah, but it's uh, part two. But the component of the curriculum a bit different, like I mentioned to you all just now. Uh, the component of research must have a certain uh, percentage uh, to make sure that we are, uh, I mean, um, contributing or, or reflecting the uh, research university's requirement. Okay. Right. okay. Curriculum structure. Okay. Right. Um, so we have five years program, yeah. Uh, but it's, it's like the, uh, in between or intermediate, uh, we have the um, working experience uh, period, yeah, for the student uh, to gain the um, uh, working experience. Yeah? It's not the internship is not calculated as or, or not being considered. Yeah. All right. Okay. So um. Part one, we have six semesters, yeah, six semesters, and then um, 120 credits, yeah, and then um, after that, okay, after that, um, uh, after graduate or, or after the BSc finish, um, this is required by Lembaga. Eh? Minimum is six. The most minimum is six months of working experience, yeah. But um, uh, generally, similar. Um, um, revise the the uh, requirement. Yeah? So um, the uh, minimum uh, for other universities, um, we need about one year minimum. Yeah. Okay. But for um, I mean, or uh, during this MCO, yeah, lembaga um, gives some leeway for the uh, excellent student yeah, in our school uh, to be offered uh, directly, but Still been evaluated through the uh, um, a proper uh, evaluation uh, session, which is the interview. Yeah? Similar like other uh, students. Yeah. Okay. So, LAM or RIBA Part One. So, since our school is being accredited by LAM and RIBA, so um, the curriculum uh, always been revised. Yeah, revised uh, to make sure. Which is the curriculum? I mean, revised based on the um, uh, to make sure that our curriculum is always um, always uh, relevant to the um, current industries and uh, global needs. Yeah? Okay. Right. So every um, batch finish, and then we need to revise. Once this uh, batch finish, we need to revise. Okay. Right. So um, uh, the LAM and RBA will come to do the uh, accreditation visit. Yeah. Uh, so far is um, every five years, yeah? every five years. Okay. So for this year, uh, we're going to receive Lembaga uh, Architect Malaysia uh, visit, which is during uh, sorry, uh, in December, yeah, in December, yeah, um, because of the COVID. Um, so uh, it's supposed to be last two months, yeah. So um, the, uh, Lembaga gave us about um, uh, I mean a few months of um. The delay of that that uh, visit, so um, they're going to come 
uh, apa ni this uh, sorry sorry apa lagi tadi uh, this December sorry right and then um um riba riba uh, supposed to be actually after lamb is riba no, uh, riba normally we we um we organize that visit um I mean back to back yeah to make sure that all the uh, materials uh, that are used by the lamb and then uh, we can um put to use for the RIBA and then um but we need to revise a certain uh, complexity you know, related or required by RIBA okay right. okay so riba will come next year huh? because um he, he, he said that um the pandemic is not um settled yet it's not um to, um, um okay the, the condition is not good as what he expected for this year so Okay, delay the visit next year, right? Then, okay, riba and lamb. Okay, so means that we are supposed to to um apa tu follow all the requirements by lembaga and RIBA. Uh, so means that we have a certain standard to fulfill. We have certain standard not only the curriculum but um uh, also the quality of the students, quality of the staff. So every a uh, single thing um i mean including the um uh, facilities yeah so being uh, considered uh, as the requirement by lab and rpa okay right so um after finish of lab on river part one yeah um so the student or the graduate become the architectural assistant okay and then um that one is after three years and then after that um the uh six month or one year or even um um certain candidates need to fulfill more or longer uh longer uh, working experience because of certain certain requirement okay right and then um for the riba and lembaga part two so after you finish that means that you become the graduate architect yeah? like what you going to take for this master architecture like you now going to start your your um uh, part two program okay right. so this course is a two years uh, study okay and then uh, after that yeah minimum two years and minimum two years uh working experience yeah and then you can apply to sit for your part three okay to become registered as a okay. right skills relevant to modern professional practice okay so these are all the skills that we think now is uh, um something that related to ir 4.0 yeah? and even um um i also involved with this current uh, research um um that's sponsored by kpt um which is we call it hal tuju hal tuju sekolah seni uh, sekolah seni bina yeah which is still um still going on now um then um all the uh, rpta um architecture uh, school yeah, uh involved with that uh, research yeah, to make sure that our um, our syllabus our uh, graduates are relevant to the um to the um to, uh, the update yeah, update to the uh, uh, current uh, requirements current um, needs of the industries and um more more relevant to um, to everyone yeah? right. okay so this is our building yeah right this is our building just now um mercu alam bina we call it right the mr studio yeah at level monitor level seven and level five yeah level five we have um architecture studio yeah all right so this is all the facilities uh, which is because it goes vertical so all the facilities is actually within the uh, building yeah? and then the one that you see the front one here is the um the bangunan ukum is the old wing yeah? just now i mentioned to you all okay then design studio education all right Okay, like uh, maybe um our students will be, be familiar with this uh, slide, yeah. <laughs> this this complexity background here. Okay, right. So um 
uh, I would like to um, uh, explain a bit yeah, about the uh, complexity that we um, been increasing, yeah, complexity increase during the year one, year two, year three, year four, and year five. Means that you become the year four and year five, yeah, because you are in the MR program. So, um, uh, what actually uh, we're going to introduce uh, normally in year four, uh, we've been exposed with the uh, urban um, urban projects, yeah, uh, you you will uh, be assigned to design high rise building, which is the complexity is a lot different compared to the part one. And that's why we need your work, uh, working experience yeah? um, um, to make sure you have a, uh, a strong a strong knowledge and um, confidence yeah? uh, to um, to survive, yeah? uh, to sustain in the fourth year and fifth year. Okay? What's interesting in our um school which is, i think is in year five we have um design thesis yeah where we can see that um uh, from the year four just now or year one you've been exposed with the research methodology uh subjects uh, um i mean um and then you have a professional practice subject together with the um the uh, exercise for the um project studio project which is uh, a bit complex and then um, will contribute uh, another level of confidence for you to um, to sustain in the five in the five where actually every student is going to produce your individual project yeah so between that uh, year one and year two of master lecture you're going to um, um, after two uh, have you're going to take pre thesis we call it pre thesis research. Uh, the proposal will be uh, guided yeah, uh, by the lecturers and then um, to make sure your proposal is solid yeah, and justifiable um, before you start your individual design in uh, year five or, or year two master lecture, right? So um, that's why you can see how it's, the research is very important um, that really um, really help you to justify your own project yeah right okay teaching philosophy um in, in terms of the design versus research like i mentioned just now some students say oh i don't want to do research i want to become architect but you need to do research before you design okay all right okay so you can see that that's the yellow part is the research the pink part is the design okay means that if you see the one two three four and five you see the component of yellow become increasing which is the research become increasing yeah the design uh the research for the uh uh vsc is not as a uh, um thorough uh, as what the, we did in the mr okay but um uh the uh, the precedent studies is a part of the research yeah? Okay, uh, cost content and cost delivery. Okay, design courses form fifty percent of program content. Okay, this fifty percent is come from the RIBA requirement. Okay, and uh, we cannot. Okay, we cannot. Um, we cannot uh, reduce the amount of um design cost. Yeah, lower than fifty. If we if we reduce, we cannot, we not entitled to gain uh, the RIBA huh? because uh, uh, the RIBA won't uh, give our give us the accreditation because uh, the component must be um, fifty above yeah? the component of design, right? So that's why it's quite challenging for us you know, um, as lecturers. We're not only doing the teaching; we need to produce the documentation for Lamaga, for RIBA, for curriculum review, for uh, uh, curriculum review is not only uh, BSc, we have curriculum review for MR. So, so the, the lecturer is not only doing the teaching, okay? And even in um, UM, I just would like to highlight to you all, um, okay, um, the lecturers, yeah, um, KPI, yeah, uh, the KPI for the lecturers like 
um, we also been evaluated. So we also been evaluated by the uh, top management of the university uh, with our KPR. Okay, for your information, the lecturers actually um, uh, thirty percent. The thirty percent only uh, for teaching, but the teaching is actually very high for us. But they only calculate it as a thirty percent because you've been. Uh, also um, required yeah, to do the uh, to run the research uh, to produce uh, publications yeah? and even the publication is not only publications like you see in um, uh, I mean uh, I mean a uh, very common journal it's required uh, a very high ranking journal in internationally yeah so um, that's actually contributing to the rank of universities I just I just would like to share this because sometimes students don't understand yeah? um, the lecturers need to produce publication. Yeah, uh, the publication is not just like uh, you send and then you get accept. No, they will be revised by the um, the experts in that um, um, in that uh, to, uh, field. Yeah, um, and the scholars. Yeah, and then um, it's quite long I mean, um, process also uh, needed yeah, for that uh, process. And then just I would like to highlight here if. The lecturers no longer only teaching. Okay, all right. So we have also animal management. We also need to do um uh supervision. Yeah, like uh, myself, I have um now I have five PhD students, and then I have um um three uh, masters uh two, um by research student. Yeah, and then later I will get you all. Uh, uh, to supervise you all for the research paper, research uh, methodology for a uh, fourth year, okay, and then you're going to continue that uh, research until your um, the fifth year later, right? So uh, lots of supervision um, process also uh, needed, and then um, it's together with you. You to uh, I would like to highlight this because of you also need to uh, run research concurrently uh, doing your uh, design thesis. Yeah, right. So it's like quite um, uh, quite heavy actually. That's why you need to really um, uh, really uh, to manage your time properly. Yeah, okay. Because um, sometimes students in MR they like to do um, I mean freelance. Okay, I don't mind if you can um, if you can still focus with your study. Yeah. Uh, try to manage your time properly. Yeah, then even maybe not too much. Yeah, I am not encouraging that you uh, do lots of uh freelance or to or to you work outside very heavy because I'm worried that you cannot uh, focus and um perform well in your uh um, up. Yeah, okay. So that's uh, the I would like to remind that. Yeah, okay. I try to try to control yourself. Try to uh, be more um yeah, like that. Yeah. All right. Muhammad. Okay. All right. So we have Encik Muhammad here. Okay. Hi, Encik Muhammad. Okay. Encik Muhammad enter this uh, Zoom uh, meeting. So Encik Muhammad is our um, main person that uh, will uh, always help us. Yeah. He always help us in our program. Yeah. Um, he's the uh, AR for the um, Ijazah Tinggi or Postgraduate Studies. Yeah. He uh, all the apa tu related to PhD, master by research, and then together with the, uh, ni lah all the master program like um, um, macam apa MR, eh? so he's the one that really um important person that uh, always um, always uh, apa ni kita kata B our side to help um to help our program, ni eh? okay, right? So his name is Encik Muhammad Nazli, no, yeah, uh, you can call him Encik Muhammad, eh? okay, right? Then, um, then uh, we have uh, also Panoriza. Yeah? She uh, also um, uh, helped us in the um, Ijazah Tinggi level. Yeah? Okay. All right. Then, okay, this is very important. Okay. Uh, about the architectural design thesis focus for the fifth year. Yeah, for the fifth year. We have the, um, um, the niche, our main niche is sustainable architecture. Sustainable architecture. Yeah. Um, which we have three niche areas. Okay. Um, the first one is the green and sustainable architecture lab. 
or we call it GSAL. And then we have the uh, second lab, which is Urban and Community Architecture Lab, yeah, or UCA. And then we have the third one, Heritage and Conservation Architecture Lab, which is HPA. Okay, right. So, um, to me, I think this is um, the strength that we have now. Yeah. And then, um, um, okay, this is actually um, the improvement that I, I did when I, I, um, apa tu? Um, I was the KJ before Dr. Helena. So this is actually what I um, managed to um, to, uh, to set up. Yeah, to set up. Because before that, we have a sensible lab, but it's very to me it's a uh, very general. Okay, when um, uh, I became the the HOD, I I said to myself I would like to um, develop or set up. Um, Labs that really contributing the um, the speciality to the um, to our students, yeah. Which this lab is actually a consist of the experts uh, um, of the lecturers that we have in our department. Okay, right. So I did a workshop to um, to make sure that um, uh, we um, have our strength. So based on the uh, qualification, based on the publication. Um, from the uh, all the lectures involved in our department, and then I can see that we have three strengths, which is a uh, one group of lectures is good in the green and sensible, and then one group of lectures good in urban and community architecture, and then one group of lectures also um, have the strength, the uh, expertise in heritage and conservation, right? So this is actually why actually this uh, lab has been established. Okay, all right. Actually, this lab is supposed to be um, uh, come concurrently with the uh, the, uh, the new curriculum. But um, during my um leadership last time, I um, I said I want to set up this even um, with the current uh, curriculum, which is we can we managed to do that. Yeah, the first batch just finish uh, this um, sets of uh, labs. Yeah, and then. Um, uh, we presented our our new uh, curriculum review to the um, uh, upper two uh, professional system, uh, and then which is consists of the uh, lembaga important lembaga um, upper two um, people, and then they say uh, they uh, they said that oh this is really good to them, which is uh, are the schools still um, still uh, in a process of developing their own um, their own niche, yeah. So say that they said that okay, it's good, which is uh, you am already uh, established one. Okay, so so to me, um, um, I am really um, able to um, really excited to share with you that uh, this uh, niche is actually uh, um, uh, more stronger now. Yeah, this lab, uh, this lab is more stronger now because of we already um, we try to improve it. Uh, yeah. Let me try to improve because that lab, okay. Um, so yeah, I, I go back again. Right. So means that in the fifth year later, the student will be uh, divided into three groups yeah, based on the projects that been uh been um assessed by the the lecturers. Okay. Uh, another information for uh, uh to be shared here is um all the lecturers, yeah, all the lecturers in the department, yeah, um have the right, yeah. To um to uh, apa tu, uh, to, kata, um, uh, to get involved to uh, to uh, apa tu, uh, have the right to know about the progress of the uh, previous student because um what um I uh, apa tu, uh, try to emphasize in this uh, lab um, uh, organization which is all the department members are the board as a board uh, director for this um. Uh, uh, for two uh, fifth year projects, okay, right, and then uh, another one is um, um, each uh, lab though they are the special, uh, special, um, uh, special evaluation at the end, yeah? evaluation of let's say the green assembly architecture lab. They have to uh, uh, two, they, they in the minimum requirement they can test the yeah? architecture uh, performance, yeah. Um, so this is how actually the uh, like uh, I mentioned to you just now the Sephora 
uh, Safara to um, be used uh, to to calculate the uh, let's say the energy use eh, uh, about the um, to justify the green accessible architecture um, uh, design for the the lab yeah okay and then even uh, the urban committee that has their their own um, measurement okay and then even the heritage and conservation also have their own management of the uh, performance of the um, the lab itself right. So basically, later, um, um, at least you can use that uh, uh, specialization to later become one of your own niche and strength. Um, let's say if you want to uh, apply for a uh, job later. So they are the last special to learn. Eh? Okay. Right, and then MR program structure. MR program structure, okay, like you said, this, okay, in, uh, like you see in this. Slide okay number one eh? number one to the design the, the design uh, consists of fifty one percent which is the two credits okay uh, this is the all the design subject yeah you have the uh, advanced architectural design one design two and then you have that the pre thesis research like I mentioned just now before you enter the fifth year or the or second year M up so this means that the, you polish or you 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 um you have to develop your proposal of your uh, design thesis um, project yeah? the, 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 to the topics uh, and this point you need to uh, find out the uh, to, uh, suitable site and then uh, um, you need to do some research uh, um, on to, to justify to justify your uh, to justify why you need to propose that architecture yeah that's it I want to propose um, extreme sports complex. Okay, why? Okay, it's not just simply, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to propose this and that, but no justification. So that's why the research is become the, um, the, the support for your justification or rationalization of your uh, design thesis project. Okay, right. Okay, and then, um, uh, architectural design thesis one, uh, which is happened in the second year later, yeah? and then uh, design thesis two. Okay, so this is the final year, yeah? final year. So to me, like I mentioned just now, uh, the final year of architecture, which is the master architecture program, the second year, is actually the end um, a product, uh, which is uh, the end. So the end process of the product that you uh, need to. Um, come out from the program, so that's why the um, the fifth year is become the most important um, important year for you to develop your 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 own niche, your own um, your own uh, specialty uh, uh, to become an um to graduate architect, right? Then another component in the curriculum is topical research. Yeah, like you mentioned just now, also about the component of the uh, Research methodology, and then you're going to have the architectural research one, architectural research two. Yeah, and then sometimes it um it's good for the student to um to do the uh architectural research too. Um, it's like let's say uh they study about the about the community architecture. Let's say yeah? okay, and then later in the fifth year they uh he proposed the um of the community architecture so means that the research that he did in the research paper too is going to help uh, uh, him to uh, gain all the uh theories related uh, gain uh, all the uh, um, um literature related to it so it's going to really beneficial to your uh, second year of master architecture right then uh, the third component is the technology and environment. Uh, this is where the sustainable and green technology, sustainable and uh, sorry, one and two there. Okay, and then uh, number four is law practice and management, uh, the professional practice one, and then we have a uh, professional practice two, and then we have also the architects and construction management. Uh, later, uh, next year, actually, we're going to introduce the uh, new curriculum. The new curriculum meter, uh, the number four, which is um, three subjects, will be um, combined to become um, two subjects only. Okay, but your batch is actually you need to follow this structure. 
Okay, and then the number fifth uh, uh, structure, which is a cultural and complex. Yeah, um, this is actually all the subjects um, under the elective. Elective. Yeah. So uh, from this six um, two four six eight. Yeah, about uh, about eight. Uh, about eight elective subjects, yeah, and then um, uh, you might we choose only two, yeah, we choose two, so first semester and the second semester, we take one, okay, and then um, normally, um, but not all, we, we sometimes, okay, um, we only offer certain times, uh, certain subjects only, like this semester, uh, this coming semester, we're going to offer landscape architecture and another one is conservation yeah? conservation building conservation uh, 6316 and the uh, 6320 so half of your class will join um, uh, conservation and then half of your class will join the landscape architecture right so uh, that's about the elective okay and then uh, we explain about the whole of this so total credits, you, know, you need to uh, finish up on uh, about 65, yeah? 65. Okay. Okay. Right, this one, um, I think I, I already covered this now about, I think about the green sensible technology, research methodology. So, so this is about the non-design cost and then uh, relate them the design courses, okay? Right. So, kalau design cost in the year one, um, it's related with the uh, sustainable design issues, eh, with in-depth exploration, advanced studies um, on more complex issues of housing, yeah. And then uh, we have normally for for fourth year, which is the year one, eh, the year one, um, which is you all will involve later. Um, one is housing, one another one is high rise. Okay, right. So this is the focus for our fourth year, right? Or your the your first year lah, or whatever. Okay, right. So um in the um year two of my architecture, this is what actually um I mentioned just now about the design thesis. Yeah, the design thesis. Um, um, it's about thoroughly challenging the critical thinking skills, uh, uh conceptualizing design development, detail of in depth uh, investigation exploration of architectural design thesis where. Um, uh, another strength uh, that we have in our design thesis is uh, the special studies. The special studies uh, um, in our school, we um, have a very detailed one. We have a very detailed uh, special studies for design thesis. Right? So um, that's about our uh, whole uh, the design. Yeah? And then the non design courses, we have uh, the green accessible technology one. Yeah? Um, and then we have also two later we have another one eh, uh, uh, which is um, um, the subject that really uh, actually um, concurrently eh, concurrently you offer um, uh, because this subject will support your design in terms of the green accessible technology parts yeah so normally it will um, uh, put to, um, maybe the the cost load is might related with your design uh, in the studio okay All right okay academic calendar for this um this session yeah 21 22 session right so um the registration module will happen um from 24th of september to 8th of uh, october right and then um, the lectures will start on the 18th of October, right? And then um, this is this is really um, equal to um, completely seven weeks, seven weeks, and then one week um, then break, and then we have seven weeks of the another uh, half of the semester. Means that you really uh, really balance lah. Yeah, normally, for example, last year. Um, the Larry scale about nine weeks, and then after that, uh, uh, 39 and five, then right? because of sometimes because of the the lapping the raya, eh? raya. Okay. So for this year, it's really a uh, cantik lah, about seven and seven, right? And then after that, um, if you have semester two, second semester is on the 18th of um, 
February, yeah, 18 of February. Okay, right. So it's common, eh? uh, so common which is 14 weeks um, study, eh? 14 weeks of study, and then uh, in between there you have the break, yes, semester break, which is uh, 18 of July till 18 of September. And after that, you have a special semester, right? Okay, so um, on the right is all the public holidays, eh? public holidays uh, um, in this year, eh? in this academic session. Okay. Right. Right, so this timetable, eh? the timetable for MR year one. Okay, we have um, BAGS 6101, which is your um, advanced architectural design one. Okay, you have the uh, studio masters for your studio, which is architect Sarli Sarkom, uh, Professor Madia Industry, which is associate professor industry. I mentioned this uh, associate professor industry um, being uh, practiced in UM uh, to um, um, it's one of the um, in uh, the intention of strengthen our design, um, not only, only design, but the whole uh, structure of our course to get involved of the industry in our uh, in our um, school, in our uh, academic. Yeah? Because um, we don't want uh, all the lectures just become short sceneri, okay? so scenery. So we work together with the uh, industries, yeah, which uh, uh, let's, um, like uh, Professor Madia Industry is not only a, only a registered architect. Yeah, the minimum requirement for the working uh, a registered um, the period of the different uh, AR2 not less than 10 years. So, not to need to kind of add the minimum 10 years AR. Uh, so, so, it's a part of the uh, requirement to make sure that um, it, they can help the lecturers. So in this um, um, uh, studio nanti you also can uh, pretty see Professor Madia Industry Architecture and LID is very active in um, the bagger architect uh, to activities. This is one of the um, uh, accreditation panels. She also did secretary last time, right? the, the PAM secretary, uh, sorry, LAM secretary. So, so she's very... Um, uh, well, this is uh, 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 industry person, okay? Right. So, and then, we also going to have um, Professor Madia Industry uh, Architect Gary Wong, yeah, in our studio, uh, who will, he will report the duty, I think, on the 15, uh, this coming one, this coming, uh, 15, yeah, on the 15. So, he's also one of the, uh, uh, to a new uh, PM industry that we just appointed, okay, to uh, to strengthen our our MR program also and other uh, subjects yeah, related to the um, to the um, like Gary is very well known in the um, uh, software, yeah? um, okay. So so that's one of the reason why we appointed him. Um, okay. Then we have Professor Madia Industry Hiroyuki Sube. Uh, he's also got a very, um, very uh, um, long uh, experience uh, with Norman Foster in UK. So that's one of the um, upper two, um, the strength that we have. Lah, huh? That's why we been appointed as the Professor Madia Industry. Right? And then um, we have green accessible technology, which is I will share with Dr. Azam, Mama Azam is Mama Azam. And then we have building preservation subject. Okay, you, you're going to uh, have that, uh, that subject will be teach, will be teach by Professor Dr. Yahya Ahmad. Yeah? Now he's the uh, pengarah uh, strategy in Sumaya. It's one of the um, main person in our in our department is one of the um, the two uh, pioneer that set up the uh, department of architecture in our school, right? Together with Professor Adrian Alpi, yeah? okay. So about the class, yeah, about the class. 
Okay. Um, all right. So this, uh, all the subject will be um, will be happen. It's either in the studio or in the bilik karya one. Okay, bilik karya one. Um, been um, apa tu? Um, apa tu? Um, uh, already been apa kita panggil tu? Um, assign been uh. Inilah maksudnya foto penggunaan untuk mass architecture um, purpose so kita boleh gunakan studio ataupun dekat bilik karyawan okay yeah. okay so that one it will be um, fixed more uh, properly later yeah uh, kita akan update lagi about this one right and then um, okay right, I mentioned just now about the capacity in the studio or in the lecture okay so Everybody is actually supposed to come in campus already, yeah? but might be rotational uh, basis based on the penggunaan uh, space in the studio. Like, let's say, macam uh, Jürgen, dia kena datang Monday for the studio, uh, physical, tapi Thursday datang, dia kena uh, online, something like that. So, so it can't be, um, I mean, all of you in the studio at one time. You can you cannot do that because of the SOP. Um, um, apa tu we call it that, yeah? right? Okay, any question? Any question so far about the timetable? Are you sleeping? <laughs> Who are our studio masters? Studio masters, two down the Oh yeah, the bold one there. Oh, okay. Um, in a Sunday, AR Sunday, yeah. He, uh, he will be the studio master. He, he will be the studio master, right? And then, um, okay. All right. So, I uh, would like to remind you all, yeah, uh, to attend uh, virtually all uh, all school meeting on Monday, eleven October, yeah. At 2.30. Okay. We'll inform you or uh, we'll share with you the link later. Lah. Yeah, okay. So, for this time being, I think um, the most important to me is actually I would like to set up the WhatsApp group for this uh, studio. Any suggestion how to do that? <laughs> Mare, any, any suggestion? What suggestion? <laughs> Siapa yang nak oh. tolong? Oh, group WhatsApp. Okay. Um, boleh lah, I can do it. So, tadi uh, in uh, tadi chat tu ada all the names kan? The numbers eh? Okay. The numbers, okay? Boleh? Mari. Has, has everyone put their names and numbers on the group chat? Zoom chat. Okay. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. yes. Okay, thank you. I'll add. Okay, with that, I'll um, thank you, all of you, eh, for attending this uh, briefing today. And I really hope to. Looking forward to see you all in the studio. Because last year, last, I mean, the previous batch, yeah, they um, I mean, uh, did the virtual class. Eh, they involved in the virtual class from the first day until the a portfolio review okay so you all later we hope to see you also um it's it's a bit different kan? it's a bit different in terms of the uh the better the the studio that been run physically and uh compared again physical eh? right mm -hmm.